Hi guys, I'm in Chipstead, I'm at St Margaret's Church and I'm with a guest on today's vlog. I'm with the wonderful, he told me to say this, the wonderful Mr what? Richard Vobes. Wondrous. Actually. Yes, wondrous. wondrous. Uh, AKA the Bored Explorer. Yeah. And what we're going to do is have a little chat about his work and the videos that he produces and the channel that he does and the group on Facebook and just see uh, his creative content and what it's all about. Oh. So tell us a little bit about yourself Richard. I mean, um, well, I'm single and uh, <laughs> I live at home with a child. No, I, uh, I, I'm the Bald Explorer. So I have um, thebaldexplorer.com which is my website which really I suppose is the launch page for uh, where people can find me and what I do which is walks about history, heritage, landscape and nature. Mm -hmm. Uh, in a similar sort of format to you, it's um, he does fairly, better. fairly, pardon? You're doing better. Fairly loose, uh, and I go and take these walks through history, heritage, and try and show my audience the, some of the best bits of England, the bits that I like, the bits mm -hmm. that I love, and that sort of thing. And you did that quite a lot. You used to do longer form videos, didn't you? That yes. went on the community channel, which is like a satellite. I started uh, off really doing um, pro proper format documentaries, mm -hmm. which took about three months to put together, uh, including all the graphics and, and everything, writing the script and um, all of those sort of things. But uh, of course, it took so long, took quite a bit of money. And then by the time you actually got it up, it wasn't really getting that much traction mm -hmm. in terms of getting an audience. So I decided to try and do a, a much faster turnaround, a more regular mm -hmm. format, which is why I do the sort of handheld walks. Right, okay. And they'd, they'd be very, so I mean, you've been doing them for sort of the handheld walks for about a year now, haven't you? Yeah. And how are they doing, would you think? Well, uh, certainly by bunging them out every weekday, uh, one new video a, a day in the week has um, brought in bigger numbers, bigger number mm. of viewers, but not in the tens of thousands, unfortunately. Yeah. Although actually at the moment I sort of plateaued out with them. Um, it's a good word, plateaued. Yeah, like it's sort of plateaued, plateaued out. We're getting the same sort of viewers, but then if you track back and look a year ago, six months ago, people are still discovering them on YouTube. Mm. Um, so it must be quite gratifying when you get a new email coming from, oh, I've just discovered your, well, hey, yes. I was one, you know, yes. back in, I think February, March sort of time. I went, oh, these are really interesting. And then I contacted Richard and said, hey, I really love, love what you're doing. I'm doing sort of a similar thing in a way. Um, let's do a walk. And we've become friends since then, you know. So yeah. You're trying to get rid of, you know, sort of, doesn't, sometimes doesn't want to sort of return my emails, you know, or, oh, no, Mark's text me. What do I do now? You well, know? I just pretend I haven't had them. That's yeah, exactly. really the, that's the best policy. It's that server, Funny you know, guy. that BT server. Yeah, BT up. server. Yes, again. BT server. God, it's a, it's a shame. Mm. You haven't emailed me recently, have you? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. I was check the old spam folder. I was into. I was um, only emailing real producers. Yeah, uh, I don't, don't blame you. Um, so, but also you could, you know, like we get serious, joking aside, you get sort of enjoyment out of what you do. Oh yes, I mean I, you've uh, taken the Mickey about out of me for getting <laughs> up at six in the morning, sometimes five in the morning, yeah. and. and and just sort of working. I, I do live to work mm. and live to produce my videos. So I get a huge amount of enjoyment in creating interest, hopefully interesting content. Mm. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. But um, yeah, See, they like it. They, they like it. They like they watch it all the time. So Richard, when you you produce your content, so you put it up on YouTube, so how will people find you on YouTube? Um, and they, subscribe. And subscribe, of course. Uh, just go, do a search for The Bald Explorer, bald as in slaphead, um, and then you'll find it. It's, uh, you know, use your, your popular search engine, you'll soon get to me. Um, Ask and Jeeves. And... Yes, there's, there's, and there's Facebook, of course, I've got a Facebook group which we've, at the time of this recording, we're about three people short of a thousand members of the group. So it's quite yeah. exciting to see who's going to be the thousandth member. Could be you. Yeah, it could be you. One um, of you guys watching now. Um, so yeah, that's where people can find me. And um, what we're doing shortly, actually, we're going to be meeting up with one of your viewers who obviously helps out with some of your content, which is Emily Champion. Yes. So we'll say yes, hello to her. Yes, you see, I do a live show mm -hmm. as the Vogue show, um, which started off as a Bald Explorer Live, but it sort of developed into this um, live show because it's a bit different to the walks and the mm -hmm. other videos. And she is one of those that came along and enjoyed the live Facebook live shows. And then I stupidly said, 
would anyone like to uh, have dinner with the Vobes? The clause is you've got to provide the dinner. Got to provide the dinner. <laughs> and so she said, yeah, all right then. So I'm going out to see a family and we're going to do a live show from her house this evening. And they're really entertaining, actually. There's sometimes little content thrown in yeah. with, your, with your lives. Um, and your favourite phrase is a, a stream of consciousness. Yes. It's just a stream of consciousness coming out and it's wonderful. It, and it can it be gets very you out entertaining. Of a lot of trouble when you say this is a stream of consciousness because it's... Uh, it's not being written, it's not no. being scripted, and if you made a complete and utter mess of it, then uh, you can just say, well, it's a stream of it's consciousness, stream of consciousness. I, haven't, uh, I haven't perfected it yet. Mm. So hopefully we know, I'll be doing a little more stuff with Richard. Are you? Um, That's news to me. You did agree to that. Oh, did I send yeah. in the small print? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's right. in the small print, I sent you the, the document. Huh. Did I sign it's it? It's on a PDF. Yeah. Ah. Um, <laughs> you you agreed to it by opening it. Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> And uh, could we are, we're sort of similar in our content style, um, although he, you know, we've both been doing it for quite a long time now, haven't we? We have. I mean, Richard was one of the very first podcasters in this country. I was number four. Yeah, number four, back when podcasting wasn't a thing. That's right. Unless you're Ricky Gervais and the Ricky Gervais show, uh, which I love. Um, but yes, he did, he's been doing podcasting for, God, how long have you been doing the Naked Englishman for? Well, since 2006. I did the Vogue show in 2005, January 2005. Podcasting first came to the UK in December, November, December mm -hmm. 2004. And then uh, I started up in January 2005. And then that was a sort of showy show, mm -hmm. uh, audio show only. And then I thought I'd do a behind the scenes, which would be me stripped down without all the fun and uh, the music and the sound effects and all that, so less showy. So right. it was, that was the naked part. And because I was English, I thought it would be the naked Englishman. Obviously people thought it was a porn channel and uh, funnily enough, a lot of people couldn't get it because it was being blocked. Oh, because wow. people get, by um, companies, people in America who were listening through or accessing the websites, uh, their internal web, whatever it is, was blocking it because it said naked in the title. But I think that's a thing of yeah. the past now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think yeah. they let them watch whatever porn they like. Yeah. So me prancing around naked going, Hello, the naked Englishman is here. That's not a very yeah, good representation of it. There you go. Um, so, um, very interesting, actually. Got all that, guys. Yeah. Um, Send for the psychiatrist. But thank you, Richard. That's, that's my pleasure. Very interesting. Um, you know, he, I, I, I'm a big fan of his work. So if you usually go to you're on YouTube, go and subscribe, leave him some comments. Leave and me while you're at it. A little bit of dosh. A bit of dosh, yeah. Dosh is always good. <laughs> um, by his patron po patronage yeah. program. There you go. Um, so please do. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Be seeing you. Goodbye. Goodbye.